time to wake up San Gabriel Valley with CCN Sunrise. Radio icon Casey Kasem's conservatorship has pitted his wife against his kids in a very public battle. But what about when our own parents get older? Is there a way to prevent something like this from happening in our own families? Segment star Mary Winters is here to talk about advice on how we can um, make this not happen in our own families in our Senior Solutions segment. Hi, Mary. So this is just so hard with uh, Casey Kasem. You it's know, horrible. We grew up with. Absolutely, it's family against family essentially, and it may mean that they did not plan properly. So in talking about this with our own families, we really want to avoid a conservatorship. And the way we do that is by putting planning together. You can put a trust plan together, or you can put some simple documents together, such as a power of attorney. That means somebody will be making your health care, or your, not your health care, but your finance decisions in the event that you cannot. There's also something in the state of California called an advanced health care directive. And your doctor will have those forms. You want to make sure that those forms are from the state of California, but in the event that you can't make a decision for yourself on your health care, that form comes in handy as well. For some of us who don't know exactly what a conservatorship is, I mean, what is a conservatorship? And is this something that you would actually recommend people get? I would not recommend it unless you need it. And you, you want to use an attorney who specializes in this area. It's a very specialized field. And in our LA courts, we go into the probate courts. And the judge will make a determination whether somebody needs to be conserved or not. And typically it's because they do not have the planning in place, so nobody is there to make decisions. Or they did put the planning in place, but because they have just a real strong determination to maybe still drive, and, and clearly they can't, they've been in accidents and they shouldn't be driving, somebody has to take control of that individual, and that happens through a conservatorship. So it's really saying, we're taking your rights away. We're putting somebody else in charge of you to make your decisions. So this is what's happening to Casey Kasem right now. And this is very hard because it, you know, you said that means that they didn't plan. When should families be planning you know for what? something like this? I think after you turn 18 and somebody doesn't have legal authority over you, you should be making decisions about who you want to have as your decision maker. There's simple, simple forms as that we can put together. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh boy, that's what, wow. happens, what happens to you if you have a motorcycle accident? Mm -hmm. But, but, you know, if you start at 18 um, with this family, things change. So Absolutely. It's so you trying change to them routinely. We have marriages. We have divorces. We move out of state. We move out of country. But I mean, having those amendments all the time. And absolutely. It's relatively easy absolutely. To do, but absolutely. Once, once, once we're older adults, we absolutely should have these things in place. The more uh, at risk we are with some of our medical issues, we should absolutely have these things in place. If you're diagnosed with dementia, do these things as early as possible because those decisions will be taken away from you as you have less and less capacity to make those decisions. And what happens when, you know, in this situation where families are disagreeing? Who can mediate? Well, they, they do have professional mediators, and it's my understanding that they actually did that. The daughters, one of the daughters wanted conservatorship initially, and it was denied. Mm -hmm. And then they mediated, and then there was some kind of breach of this mediation, which is why we now have the conservatorship. Right. So it looks like uh, 18, we, that's when we should have been planning. So yeah. we're already behind. Yeah, we've got right. some catching up to do there. We can do it really so early. So definitely go out there, uh, put your papers in order. It's never, you're never too young to make it happen. So thanks for that, Mary. Exactly. Absolutely. Thank you, Mary.